Hello and welcome to Books and Beyond. I'm Danielle with a bookish box unboxing. Um, they are really behind on theirs. Um, so this is probably still from last year. Um, they said in an email that they were going to start doing both the um, YA and the adults in the same um, box, but we'll see what all is in here. Looks like we have November and December in here. So I'm not really sure if this is going to be our YA or if this is going to be our adult box. Um, I guess we're going to have to see, or maybe it's all of it. Oh my gosh. It might be all of it y'all. So I'm going to have to set this box aside here and just go through everything. Um, this is one way to catch up. I'll say that for sure. So, um, here we go. We got that inside. Um, we have some Zodiac Academy inspired blankets. Okay. Looks like they just put everything in here. So, let's see. All right. We've got a bookmark. And we've got some, another bookmark. And they went all out. Okay. So, the prints, it looks like. And, ooh, you even have a really pretty pen. Well, I'm just kind of giving it away. So this looks like this is the YA box. And the reason why I say that is because in the YA box, um, they are doing these um, uh, Zodiac candles. So we have Sagittarius and Capricorn um, in here. So we have both of those. So this is the YA box and everything is in it. So let me move all this aside so I can go in it. I'm gonna save the books for last. Um, and I'm going to try and go through everything here. So we have our prints here. And I'm not really sure what these two books are, but we'll find out. Um, I think one of these actually might be Prior to the Orange Tree, I think, is this one because we have our oranges here. So, okay, so first things first, let's go through our bookmarks. That we have these are our sword bookmarks i don't know if they're doing these oh it actually poked a hole through the bag here it's got a hole. there we go so this one is the five crowns of okrith 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 <laughs> um so that's one and then we have our other bookmark here so yeah, this is YA November and December. Wow, okay, so this is a lot of stuff. A Court of Thorns and Roses. Very nice. So we have a nice inspired bookmark there. And then we have a Court of Thorns and Roses um, inspired crossbody bag, okay. Oh, so it's nice. It's actually like a nice, oh, see it's got a really nice um, strap on it here. Um, and then we have Don't Let the Hard Days Win. I do like that because that's a very like universal kind of thing. And so we can look, look let's just unzip it and see inside. See, this is nice. I like this because this is something that's very useful. Uh-oh, so that's not good. But we have the zipper is a little messed up. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Okay, so we can get that. So it's lined inside, so that's nice. Um, this is nice because I need, I, I don't have, I have a crossbody bag, but it's kind of like getting old and worn, so this could be something useful to have. Um, again, the zipper's kind of not correct. There we go. Okay. So there we go. But anyway, let me see if I can zip this up. Hopefully the zippers don't break. But um, yeah, this is, it's got an adjustable strap and a little clip on here. So that's actually a pretty useful item, which is nice. And I like that it's black. Like it's not, um, it's not like super showy or anything like that. Like I kind of like things to be a little more neutral. Alrighty, so we have that. And then we have our Zodiac Academy inspired blanket. Ooh, the colors are very popping. Look at that. So I'm gonna not do this whole thing, but I'm gonna at least show some of it. 
Oh, okay. So this is, I know that there's the twins in the series. So this has the, them on it. I'll just kind of show you. Man, I have a lot of blankets now. <laughs> and then here's the other. So that's very pretty. It's actually a pretty, um, I'm dropping stuff. Um, but I showed you the print cards. <laughs> Those are there. Um, and then, okay, so that's cool. And then we have... I already kind of showed you this, but I'll show you a little closer up. I like that. That's really cool. All right. And then we have a throne of glass teacup. So like the Sarah J. Moss stuff. I have one of her other ones. So here we go. This is our throne of glass. I have read two books and now I got to read Crown of Midnight. So I like that. That's very cool. Let's see what the saucer looks like. I actually use these saucers. That's pretty. Very vibrant colors. I actually use these as like coasters. I'll put like my drinks on here. Even if it's not the teacup that it comes with. So I'm trying to see how it all goes together. But I will use I will use the saucer as a coaster um, in my library. And it actually makes a really pretty coaster. And then I use the cups for like any little, like if I'm scrapbooking, I have little bits of things, I'll put them in the cup. That's what I use my other one for. So I kind of use it and then I can not make a big mess. So that's really cool. I like that definitely something useful and then that leaves the books so let's go ahead um, and look at those so let's look at November real quick because I want to see what we have here so we have the blanket the candle oh I should open the candles first I'm glad I looked at that so let's look at November 1st which is going to be our Sagittarius candle and I do burn these there we go cool I can smell it it's got a very it's got a clean smell it's actually kind of a very masculine smell to me this one so that's pretty I like that and then let's look at our Capricorn candle and this should figure finish out the zodiac I would think. I think this is probably the end of the line. Capricorn. Very cool. And this one is Ooh. Oh I like that. It's a very fresh, clean smell with maybe like a little floral note, just a little bit. It actually does smell a little masculine too, but like in a really nice, like if you like that clean, fresh scent, that's what that is. So I really like the Capricorn one. If I had to choose between these, this is the one I like personally. Okay, so so the pin, the candle, this, these were all what was part of the young adult box. Yeah, we're not gonna try not to spoil the adult one because I haven't gotten it yet. The metal bookmark. So this is the dagger from the High Mountain Court. Okay, and then I didn't get the shirt. I don't get the shirt in here. Um, and the Priory of the Orange Tree, that was the prince. So that was, the, that was, I was right about that. Oh, and then our book, because I didn't get High Mountain Court. Okay, let's see. Here we go. So this is the November book. I have heard about this one and it sounds amazing. Usually their books come in those little green felt sleeves. Um, so this is kind of a little different of a departure and I wonder if it had to do, it probably had to do with some factors unbeknownst to me, but 
Look at this, y'all. Oh, look at that. It's a naked hardcover. So it's very, very pretty. And this is interesting. I've never seen this on a book. Um, this is actually like these little metal corner protectors. This is actually like a little metal protector. So it gives it really kind of like the book gives it, it just gives it a nice kind of old um, feel to it. It is on front and back. The world would not make her, she would make the world. Very cool. And then here's our sprayed edges with the arrow on it. This is very nice. I really like this edition. This is probably one of the better ones I've seen um, from them. And then we have the art inside, which is always nice to see. And then it's signed. And then we have the art inside. Very pretty, I like the art. The art is something, I, art really matters to me in a lot of books and whatnot. And of course we have like a, a um, map, which I love. So this is tied to that bookmark. So, and this book is about, so here we have the same art on the back. It's about 349 pages. So there you go. So there's book, that's November book. So we've got that, and then December YA. This one is, um, just to kind of look it over, we have our crossbody bag, the teacup, the candle, and then um, our featured title is, oh, okay, Bow Before the Elf Queen. Oh, yes, okay, okay, this has been on my TBR, so I do read my special editions before I go out and buy stuff. And I'm so glad that this came in, in time so I didn't buy it by accident. Okay. Bow Before the Elf Queen by J.M. Curl. Very nice. In the back, here's the back. Love is a powerful force. It cannot be bought. It cannot be taken or stolen. Although sometimes it must be fought for. It must be given freely. Absolutely. So here we go. Here we go. Here's our sprayed edges on the top and the bottom. So beautiful. So this is the YA box, November and December. So hopefully um, that means um, that we'll be getting um, the, it's the end of March here. So um, hopefully that means we'll be getting the adult November and December shortly. Um, but this is like really, really like a really good book. I really want to read this one. This one I don't know too much about, but I love how beautiful it looks. And I'm sure this is one that's going to be on my list as well. So anyway, um, if you like what you saw here, please like and um, subscribe. If you have any comments, let me know in the comment section below. But um, in the meantime, thank you for joining me and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye!